Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. As you can see, we're out and about. We're in Scarborough at the Scarborough District Railway Modellers Club Rooms. Now, we're upstairs and we're with Ian Harper. 40 years, Ian, you've been going. Yes, it's a long time. We started uh, 1978, the club formed. Uh, but we weren't here in 1978. We came here in about 1983-84. But prior to that, we used to meet at each other's homes. Our wives or partners would do something to eat for everybody. And of course, in the winter, it was great. It was nice and warm in the house and you got all these sandwiches and cakes and everything. And we saw a layout that somebody built and we'd have talks on, on building certain things, whether it was a layout or whether it was a locomotive or carriages, whatever. And it, and it worked like that for quite a while. And eventually we needed, we needed somewhere that we could build our own layout and the, the, the place where we are now, which is near a church, it belonged to the church, co contacted us and said, we've got a, a couple of rooms that's become vacant. Would you like to have a look at them? We came down and the rest is history. We've it's been brilliant. here since 1983-84. Yeah. They're brilliant. Now we've got three layouts we're gonna have a look at. One is double O, the other is N gauge, and then O gauge. We've come over here, which is the double O gauge, Ian. Yeah, this is, this is uh, the middle size of the layouts that you'll see. Uh, this is a show layout that, uh, that some of our members have built here in the club room. Perhaps maybe Roland, our secretary, might be the ideal person to explain it to you. He runs it more than I do. OK. Roland, this is a marvellous layout. Hi Barry. Yes, it is. Uh, it's only eight foot long, so it's uh, soon if it fits into a quite small spaces, people's bedrooms, that sort of thing, uh, or garages, depending where folk can actually uh, find space to put their layouts. But it's quite a compact layout, and as Ian said, this is an exhibition one, so this goes out regularly when invited to shows up and down the country. Now this is designed uh, on a Scottish theme, it's uh, a figment of the builder's imagination, so it's not a real place. That's the beauty of modelling, of course. It's your layout, you can do what you want with it. Yes, you can, and I love it. I mean, look at all these little lights here. They are fantastic. The detail that you have, and even over there, there's a little dog. Yes, there is. Cocking its leg up. Cocking its leg up, yes. It's the little scenarios that you can build into the layout that make it interesting as far as the visitors to the shows are concerned. So you get the people there that know a lot about the railways and they'll be looking for accuracy regarding which locos are running and what rolling stock you, you, they're pulling. But other folk are looking at the detail. How have you built this? How do you get that grass looking like that? How do you get those lights to work? Uh, and that's the sort of questions that we're asked regularly when we go to shows. And that's the beauty of taking a layout to a show. You can share your enthusiasm in the hobby with those that come to visit you. This actually does make a noise of engines, that's right. doesn't it? Have you got a switch to turn it on so I we can hear it? These locos are equipped with sound. And you can see from the Class 37 that's on the layout there, that if I get the loco to move, the driver's release the brakes. He's now increasing the revs and the loco pulls away. Roland, this is amazing. It's, it's wonderful. Well, this is what the, what the hobby is moving towards now. A lot more detail, a lot more accuracy, uh, trying to emulate as, as far as possible how the locos are today or how they were in yesteryear depending upon which era you're actually modeling. So this is the 40th year that you've been in existence what's happening? Right a very special year for us we've got uh, two exhibitions this year we normally have our regular Pickering show which I know you've been uh, you've been coming we to. We love it it's so good and that is again in August the 18th and 19th of August but we've got a special 40th celebration. It's like an open day event, really, on the 7th and 8th of April at the Newby and Scorby Community Hall on Scorby Road, where we're having 12 of club members' layouts on, on show at that exhibition. So there's a lot of burning of the midnight oil going on at the moment, people trying to get their layouts ready for that show. Uh, so we can show the public, show the members, uh, people in Scarborough, uh, what the local model railway club can do. Roland, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
We've now moved over from the double O gauge to the N gauge layout. Now, tell me all about this, Ian. Well, this is another one of our club layouts, and this is the Mark II version, and it's called Noel North of England Line. And this is North of England Line 2. Uh, and the guys that have built it built North of England Line 1 some years ago, uh, I think about 2007, 2008, which has done an awful lot of shows. I think it's something like 50 plus shows. Oh. And that is stored at the other end of the club room at the moment. But the clever thing about this is they've built the new layout that will incorporate the existing fiddle yard where we are at the back. That's the storage yards at the back where all the trains are kept. Well, we've come upstairs now to another layout, and this is the O-gauge. Now, Ian, tell me about this O-gauge layout. Well, this O-gauge layout started about two years ago, and uh, it was designed by a group of members at the club, about five or six members. We decided that we would like to build an O-gauge layout, having done double O and N-gauge layouts. And this is where we're up to at the moment. And things are moving on quite well. Everything's scratch built on here. And what we've done is we've brought a few locomotives down just to give you an idea of the O-gauge and the size of it. it. It's so much bigger than what we've seen downstairs with the N-gauge. In some ways, it's a lot easier to work with, and in other ways, in other ways it's, it's more difficult. Ian, give me some details about this particular layout. We designed it to be of British Railways' eastern, northeastern region, and we've taken a date around 1961 as a date that, that we're depicting here. The reason being that, that we have got that transition period where steam is just starting to go away and, and be scrapped, unfortunately. I know, I, I feel the same, yes. I love steam engines. But at the, same time, at the same time, we've got the diesels coming in, and we'll show you in a minute the deltics that we've got on here, and the sound from them is superb. If anybody wants to join the Scarborough District Railway Modelers, how would they go about it? Well, if they go on to the internet, we have a, a website, and there it is, look, www.sdrmweb.co.uk. As easy as that. As easy as that. As easy as that. Ian, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this as always. Yes. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Well, there you go. We are in heaven up here with all these lovely trains and models and everything superb. I'm Barry Robinson, out and about in Scarborough for Scarborough TV News.